I am holding in my hands the first edition of something because LMNT has come out with something new. It is a sparkling electrolyte, and today we're going to find out if they're any good. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And every Monday, we go live on Keto Beyond the Couch because life exists beyond the couch. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and X. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we review something that could possibly replace diet soda and even Celsius, you'll be alerted to it. So Element has come out with a new product. It is sparkling electrolytes. I am intrigued by this, and I think it's funny. You know, you were uh, uh, before your time, friends, because like how many times have I yelled at Joe because he's got some water that he has sparkled in his soda stream. And then into a live stream, you bring in electrolytes and add it. And now I'm worried that we're going to have an explosion in here. Well, get ready to be mad at me some more. Uh-oh. Okay, so Element's got four flavors of their new sparkling electrolytes. And at the time of recording this video, this will be released to the general public tomorrow. Awesome. Okay, so when we release this video, we're going to release it first thing on the day it's released. Now... Right now, at the time we're recording the video, it's available to people who have been buying bundles from Element. And I've seen a lot of people really, I think, get excited that their loyalty to a company has been rewarded. And that's how I saw it. Because they did send it free to everybody who's everybody. been buying bundles. I thought that that was a really nice thank you to customers. Okay, so we have four flavors. We have grapefruit. We have black cherry, which there is not a black cherry There's on not. flavor. There is citrus salt, which is your favorite. And then there is watermelon. Well, I'm going to say I've got a two, two favorite because I was going to ask you, of these in the regular standalone electrolyte form, which flavor do you like right. the best? I also like grapefruit, grapefruit a lot. When they made that a permanent flavor, I was really citrus happy. Citrus salted. Okay, so here's what, why I said you're going to get mad at me. This is sparkling electrolytes. I want to, we're going to try them all. But then I want to compare it to just making them myself. Because I'm going to be honest, I don't normally like it in that way. I I like my electrolytes flat. You've made it with the soda stream. And, and you, you don't like them. Spot. I have not been a fan. So, like, let's see. Okay, so I've got a soda stream bottle here. This is filtered water from our Berkey using our Pro 1 filters. And then I do the setting number two. So it's like double. So there's three settings on our soda stream. We have a video on how to modify a soda stream so it doesn't cost you much money. Um, so this is the number two on it. And so when you do this, as Rachel said, here's the problem. is You have ingredients in here that make it more fizzy. It's raised to the lid. So closet. you have like, you know, your magnesium and stuff. And that will make it explode. So here is how you have to do this. I'm going to use watermelon because there's a watermelon and I figure we can compare the two. That's fair. To see how it tastes. So what you do is you dump in there and see how it's already fizzing. Now you got to put your lid on and let it sit for a little while. And then what you'll do is you'll slowly decrease that pressure. But if you let it sit for two or three minutes, it'll do it on its own. It'll do it on its own. So we're going to put this to the side. We're going to give it a little mix. We're going to put that to the side, and I guess we'll finish with watermelon. Okay, let's finish this with This way watermelon. we can compare watermelon to watermelon. Start with... That's your this favorite. Way, yeah. I say we start with... Let's just start this way. Okay. Because then we can just go down the line. You know we have to drink all these now. We're definitely going to get our electrolytes in today. I already drank two salties. Okay, so here's... Here's the funny it's thing. It's sweet. It is very sweet. Years ago, my we had a grapefruit tree in our backyard. And my grandfather would come over and he would take the grapefruit. Let us know in the comments if you ever did this before. He would cut out a circle and pull out a wedge of the grapefruit, squeeze it, and then he would add, like, baking soda 
to it okay. because it would cause this like carbonated effect and you would drink it like this and that tastes exactly like that. This is good. But it's very sweet. Like, it is sweet. Much sweeter than the regular grapefruit. And I get the grapefruit taste, but not the sweet is kind of outweighing the grapefruit. Is that am I wrong? No, I mean it tastes pretty sweet. Yeah. Okay. Black cherry. So there is currently no black cherry. Are we getting a, a sneak peek at a future flavor? Because it could be a future flavor that's coming. Okay. The black cherry is soon. I definitely taste black cherry. I'm not a huge fan of black cherry. I'm not a fan. Um, it's but not it, there's fault. more flavor here than here. Yeah. And this is not as sweet as this one. I will. No, you're right. Now, I will say that at first, I didn't like the black cherry up front. The lime that's added to it, because this is black cherry lime. The lime is on the back note, and I actually like the lime taste. Taste it again, and you'll see black cherry up front. Lime as soon as it hits your tongue, black cherry. This, yeah. Oh, yeah, now limey. I don't like that. It's a, what, what is that haircut? A mullet. It's like part, business in the front, party, party in, the, in back. the back. I guess I just want the party in the back. Citrus salt, one of your favorite flavors. Your turn. Let's let some pressure out of this. See, it's already done. My turn. You good? I actually really like that one. I like that one. I didn't like it at first, but now I like it. That's good. It tastes like a margarita. It does taste like a margarita. It tastes like a margarita. It's without funny. the tequila. It's funny. These Ooh, other two, to that. not too sweet. This one is one very That's sweet. Overly it's sweet. It's like weird. Overly sweet. Okay, watermelon. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see if your homemade brew is better than this. Mm. We're back to sweet. It's like, it's very sweet. We're back to sweet. Like the sweet's overpowering the watermelon. That's odd. Okay, let's taste yours. Because honestly, maybe maybe we're just not I would it. think, I, we haven't looked at the ingredients here, but I would think they're going to taste the same. You Okay. Should we wait till after we read the ingredients? No, I want to taste that because I just want to taste taste comparison. Yeah, but if this is not like the same amount of sodium and stuff, it would taste different. Let's just say it first. Let's just take it at face value. I'm going to remind myself. Now, this probably isn't a fair comparison. The reason it's not a fair comparison is because this is how much? 16 ounces. And this is a leader. I'm going to tell you I like this more. Here's the other thing. So this is slightly watered down. It's not a... I just thought about that. That's not I a actually, I, I actually like that better. Um, and here's another reason why. Carbonation adds an element to it, right? And so... The carbonation to me enhances the flavor. Exactly. So I feel like because you can control your level of carbonation on this... We can pump it up, right? This is kind of settled. So it's a little flatter in here than it is in here for me. And I like it more bubbly. Okay. So you know what? I think we should pause. Okay. Let me go make another one with exactly 16 ounces. Which do you want to do? Lemon, lime. You, I wonder if the grapefruit would be better. Let's try it. Okay. So... Yeah, I, I didn't look up a liter, but I think that was closer to 32 ounces because that's 16 ounces. Oh, wow. Okay. Big difference. So let's do this. Let's put this in here. So that's 16 ounces. I made sure it was extra bubbly because these are extra bubbly. Well, my thing is I didn't think those were as bubbly. Okay. We're going to put that in there. Put your top on. Put the top on. And let's... Do five things. Let's do five things. Five things. If you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're going to talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a church label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Number one. Number one is the ingredients. Hopefully, they haven't done a bunch of screwy stuff. Right. So, sparkling water. Okay. Salt, which is sodium chloride, malic acid, magnesium malate, potassium chloride, natural watermelon flavor, stevia extract and citric acid 
This one does not have citric acid. Oh wow, these these ones. That's do. because this one has those were citrus leaves. Oh, I see. So they're yeah. using the citrus acid for that. This one, the watermelon uses malic acid, which I think malic acid is better anyway. So read that one. Okay, so this one is sparkling water, salt, citric acid, magnesium malate, potassium chloride, natural grapefruit flavor, and stevia leaf extract. Okay, so it's literally the same exact ingredients that are in here, but with seltzer water. Okay. That's the that's the difference. Since we're talking about ingredients, let's also talk about the electrolyte content. So this is saying that you get 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. So they're literally doing what we hit, did. They're, they're taking this and they're putting it into 16 ounces of water. Okay. Something else we need to mention on ingredients that's not listed here. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is not a big deal, but I want to say it. All right, say it. Their natural flavors contain maltodextrin. Okay, it's not listed here because they list it as natural flavors, but they have said it. We have a whole video on it. If I can find it, I'll link it up here. Um, it's one serving of maltodextrin over a thousand packets. So I'm not going to stress about it's that. It's four carbs divided by a thousand. It's not affecting you. That is me. Right. That is me. That is that is something but I that just, I'm comfortable with, but others may not be comfortable. I'm with. just saying that if someone, if you, if you think that. Well, okay, well, maltodextrin, and that's kicking matter of ketosis. It's four carbs divided by a thousand. Right. It's, it's not affecting you. Um, it's one of the reasons that we like another company mm -hmm. um, for salty because salty doesn't have maltodextrin in it. But that's not what this is about. But I do want to say is it's not listed on the ingredients, but their natural flavors do contain maltodextrin. But it's an infinitesimal amount and not something to be concerned about. Number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? Based so, on the ingredients, it should, right? Right. So a can of this is going to be five calories, uh, zero total fat, zero protein, one total carbohydrate. And it's the case with all of these. Now, remember, those numbers are rounded because some of these actually contain, like, for example, it kind of doesn't make sense. Because that has the same exact thing as this, mm -hmm. but this has two on it. Wow. For carbs. Okay. Whereas that's one, but literally it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. So it's rounded. So I'm going to tell you, always count two. Two, and I think the watermelon, if I remember right, is three. I and don't remember. You're never going to be upset if you over. Right. Over you're it. always better off round up. Yeah. Okay. Number three, how do they taste? I like these two. These two are too sweet. I am not a fan of these either. Um, but again, I'm not somebody that leans to sparkling electrolytes when we're making them here home ourselves. Since to we're be on honest. taste. I like the lime back note of this one a lot. Um, and then this one I thought was really good, but I anticipated I would probably like this one a bit. I'm surprised I don't like the grapefruit more. Okay, so this is literally gonna be the perfect comparison because now we know. Okay. That this is literally a can of seltzer water with a packet added because it's right. the same exact and it's grapefruit nutrition this and it's grapefruit and this is exactly sixteen ounces of water. Still tastes less sweet. It's less sweet. Like I like that better. I feel like they're adding extra stevia. I feel like they're adding extra stevia. Because, but I, I actually like that better. I that, like this better. This is more like a Fresca. Even, yes, it is. It's more like a Fresca. Of all the ones that you've made, I actually really, really enjoy that. That tastes really good. I would I would drink that. The, I guess I've never had that flavor where you've made it. You've made it with all, you know. Not this tastes just it, like Fresca. But that tastes like Fresca. I would get that more. I will say that this can... It's kind of weird, but it has more of a grapefruit flavor, but also sweeter. Like the flavor is different than this, but I think this is better. Okay, so now we got to go to number four. How much do they cost? Because if I can make them myself just using the sticks and my own soda stream, I mean, it better be a, like cheap. Otherwise, I'll just make it myself. So, okay. I looked on the website okay. because we have purchased salty because like I said, right now, right element. element, we have purchased elements so we can go buy it. Okay. Yeah. We got it because they sent it to us because we bought it, purchased bulk bundles uh, on their subscriber thing in the past. 
And so from what I can see, you must buy 32 cans. Oh, you can't just buy a case. That, that At least that's what the way it is on the link right now. I don't know if that's going to change. Okay. But 32 cans is $72, which makes it, what is that, $2.25 a can? Let's, let's do some quick math. 72 divided by 32. Two dollars and twenty five cents a can. Okay, so that unless I get them at Walmart, it's going to be less than like a Celsius. So if you buy those kind of like a morning drink, and you're like, I think I'd rather swap out my morning Celsius drink to like electrolytes and actually get something besides just a ball of caffeine in my stomach. I think this would be a better thing. You're going to be in that price point. You're going to be in that that area. Okay, devil advocate. If you buy a bundle of these, 120 of them, they're a dollar a stick. I mean, I just told you that it needs to be cheap in order for me to buy it because I'm just going to make it myself. So, okay, yes, we have a soda stream. Yeah. Okay. Let's go over the cost of making your own soda stream the way we have it. Okay. You can buy a soda stream for less than 100 bucks, And then the CO2, it depends on how bubbly do you make it. But you can get as much as 60 liters from one of the canisters if you're using their refills. But $100 for a soda stream. So you have to factor that in. That will be 100 cans so to make it. Yeah, two okay. layers. And then you can actually get them even cheaper in $100, especially if you go to like a thrift store. You can sometimes find them for like 20 bucks or offer up, things like that. I'm talking about brand new. We modified ours so that we can now have the, we have a big tank. And then we can use any kind of tank we want. That's another 100 bucks for all of that combination stuff. But it lowers the price from $20 for that little tiny CO2 container to $20 for 5 pounds. It's like $20 from like 1.3 pounds to $20 for 5 pounds of CO2. Making these bottles super, super cheap to make once you have them. Or you could just go to Walmart and buy liters of sparkling seltzer water. And just mix them. Isn't it like 70 cents for a yes. liter? I think you could buy a two liter one for like a dollar. Right. And so now we've learned that basically, if you let's say a liter is a dollar, that's two of these. So now you're at $2.50. So if you're buying the seltzer water, Makes probably be at the same price somewhere yeah. around there. You know, it depends on how sweet you want to make it. But if you have a soda stream, I think they're expensive. You're in the money. Right? Number four, would we recommend it? Me, number five. Number five, would we recommend it? I would recommend it if you just like uh, a beverage that's carbonated and you're looking for it to to do the job of an electrolyte. Like, that's a, that's a good thing. This is not... Like a diet soda to me where someone is like trying to kick a habit. You know, Diet Coke doesn't really contribute anything to your life other than entertainment purposes. So this is giving you some bubbles with electrolytes. I think that that is a good thing. For us, for Joe and I and our future home purchases, I am I am not going to repurchase this. I am going to stick to my element sticks and I'm going to utilize a soda stream and just make it myself. So... For me, I don't know if I would recommend it. At $2.25 for basically a sparkling electrolyte, I think you're better off just buying the sticks for a dollar and drinking it in regular water. I don't think the bubbles add that much to it yeah. to be worth a dollar twenty-five. I don't think the bubbles. bottles are worth a dollar twenty-five. I, I just don't think the bubbles are worth a dollar and a quarter. And that's, you're basically paying a dollar and a quarter for, for bubbles. bubbles. And that dollar, I will say this, that dollar, it's it's actually slightly less of a difference if you're only buying 30 at a time. Because then it's more money. It's the only way you get these for a dollar a stick is if you buy a four pack on subscription. But I don't think those bubbles, because that's how we would buy it, is worth a dollar 25. Also, if you make your own, you can control the flavor. I think these are too sweet. Right. I think they're too sweet. At least this one and this one. And those are my favorite two flavors. They're too sweet, which means if I bought them in the can, I'm going to want to cut them down anyway. So I think I'm in more control when I buy it this way. Here is something that's probably super annoying for anybody, for the Element Company to hear. But 
I probably would have preferred them just serve them flat. Like, I, you know how Gatorade is a flat drink? It's not a sparkling electrolyte beverage. Pedialyte is not a sparkling beverage. Right. And it was always tasty. Powerade. It's not a sparkling beverage. Now, this is going to be so much better for you than Powerade or Gatorade, right? It's going to do so much more. But I think I would have just preferred to make it flat. But I don't see a need for that. No, I mean, I don't Because either. this is more convenient to carry around. You know, we walk around with packets of Element in my truck, in your purse. I have them in my backpacks. We go on a cruise, we go to Disney, we go RVing. It's small, it's Wherever compact. I go, I can throw this in my, I can throw five of them in my pocket when right. I'm walking around Disney and go get free water and mix it. If you, if you, let's say you made this non-carbonated, now you got to carry that. And also you're talking about aluminum cans, like you, it's like you're, you're adding to environmental stuff. <laughs> you're talking about bulk. It's going to cost you more money because they're individually done. The shipping form, all of that. I think this is the better option. And again, it's just, I'm not saying that they're not horrible. I just don't think they're worth their money. I guess we're going to continue on with Element not being wanting to sponsor our channel. <laughs> Probably. But I, and I think that if you, Final thing, if you have a soda stream, this is definitely not worth not it. Not worth it. It's And if you can get a good deal on seltzer water and you want this, you're better off that way. You're probably better off getting a, a, like the old-fashioned soda maker where you put the CO2 cartridge in the top and just kind of like your whipped cream dispenser, you know? <laughs> Let us know in Gotta the comment honest. section. Gotta Have you honest. tried these? Again, I don't think that they're bad. I just don't think they're worth the money. Now, we will leave a link for it down below. I'll also leave the link for regular Element. And the best way to buy Element, if you're going to buy Element, is to buy the four-pack combo backs. Because what happens is, is when you pick four, which is 120 it's buy three, get one free. Right. If you don't do it that way, it becomes significantly more. Because I think it, if I remember right, it's like $46 for a pack of three, but it's $120 for a pack of, for 120 and you can choose four different flavors. And I use the electrolytes every single day. So, I mean, electrolytes is a part of my daily life. I average like two to four electrolyte drinks a day. And sometimes more if I'm super And our, our kids use them. Um, like when guests come over and I'm trying to provide something that's not water, I put... I give them to people when I take them scuba diving. I make a big, like, if my punch at a party is electrolytes. I just make a big vat of it and then I put it in one of those, like, water dispensers. Let us know in the comment section if you tried these and what were your thoughts on them. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos. We have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take on the most recent video that I'm going to put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we try something new, you'll be alerted to Until next time. Bye.